sure you've all heard the expression, you have to kiss a few frogs before you find your Prince Charming. That's right. And our next guest says that every single one of those frogs has a lesson they can teach you. Here to explain all this is relationship expert Renee Piani. Hello. Hello. Up for me. It's nice to see you. Thank you very much. All right, so you recommend dating like a lot of guys before you settle down, right? Well, it depends on your age, but younger women, yes. You should date a lot of different men to refine and define the type of man that you want to end up now, with. eight frogs, like bullfrogs, the African swamp frogs. <laughs> I mean, eight frogs, every woman should kiss who are Well, there's lots of them. Yeah. First, the first one is the sexy sportster. Now, all women like a guy that's into sports, and here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> get you into sports that you never thought of. He can take you tailgating. He's fun. And you have never played a game of hoops in your life. <laughs> but he's cute, he you is know? Cute. And he could get any woman to go to a game with him. What now, do you think? Why are we kissing this guy? What's the why? point of this What's guy? No, to, to round out the women's sporting life. To get All her right, into things go. that she never experienced before. Maybe even get her in shape, you know? I, when you go out with, with the jockey guy, he makes you want to, like, tone up. My, my wife used to, before we got married, of course, date this next guy. I hate this next guy. Uh, Oh, really? Ladies and gentlemen, the oh. passionate poet. Oh, really? Woo. Bye. Uh, see? There we go. Hey. Oh, my. Here he comes. He's artistic. He's I can't believe these guys ever get girls. <laughs> Look at the way he did it. Yeah. You are the missing piece <laughs> to the puzzle that is my life. Oh, my God. sensitive romantic side the, the the communication and that you know even if he's you know not necessarily like the big jock type he just melts your soul he, now, he melts women's souls is that a real thing like is that a permanent don't, don't, uh, no offense poet dude but uh, <laughs> don't poet women dude. tire of this guy rather quickly um some poor poets yes i think that when uh, they're poor they don't so necessarily he's got a lot of get money and he's poet poetic it's a beautiful thing well, I think yeah. that, yes, I, I think that a lot of times, sometimes the artists do get the raft by women, but he does bring out that romance side to all women. All right, thank you, boy. Oh, nice. All right, and we have uh, number three. This number is the three. Lieutenant. This is the Lieutenant of, of Love. love. to this guy. A man in uniform does it for a lot of women. My There's God, just... I'm standing at attention and, right now. You know, uh, <laughs> maybe not for you, but <laughs> he could definitely, woo, he could definitely keep me up. Men in uniform are hot, and they also have a certain discipline about them, and they, they make you sit up straighter when you're out on a date with yeah. them, that's for sure, because yeah. you feel like very... <laughs> so, um, Lieutenant, attention. Um, hey, I can keep straight. <laughs> Ladies level. Ladies level. Our uh, fourth guy, I believe, is the rebel without a cause. Rebel without a cause. <laughs> there, there wasn't anybody that we could fit better for a rebel other than yourself. So if you wouldn't mind, Danny. <laughs> A rebel. And what can I teach women? You teach women that hot side of them, that spicy side. Yeah, I do. You Take bring me. out that. You bring out the wild and side in women. All rebels you know? are so confident. Yeah, they're confident. He's like, yeah, dude. I am no rebel without a clue. Now, and he's definitely he brings out that wild side, but sometimes. He may not be the man that you'll end up taking home. See, I'm what is sorry. up with that? <laughs> All right, good enough. Listen, it's just the way that it we is. have to take a quick break, but when we come back, what about the International Man of Mystery? Yeah. We're talking with relationship expert Renee Piani about the eight frogs every woman needs to kiss before she finds the Prince Charming. We're up to uh, number five. That's so, right. So let's go. Number five, please. Next is the spiritual guru guy, okay? Yeah. These guys bum me out, too. Hey, this guy... <laughs> He can, he can align your chakras, okay? Yeah. He can teach you tantra. He can take you to the yoga classes. Great massage, you know. He's very into your feelings. Helps you get more in touch with your spiritual side. Hey, I've dated a few of these. They work for me. <laughs> and, you know, he gets you into work. 
zen. Yeah, he is. Let me get you to go zen. But you don't want, you know, to get a guy to just to align your chakras for too long. No, right. You know? well, he's got, bur he's burning into you. Right. He gets into your energy field. You know what I'm talking about? Get him out of the way. Right. Um, let's go with number six, because I kind of dig this guy. This guy okay. is the international man of mystery. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, the accent. Is that a real language? Is this for me? Of course. <laughs> is this for me? Oh, now, this works for me. I mean, now, this is the international man of mystery. He is the, the one you meet on vacation. The right, okay. Spanish lover. Okay, the, 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 the vacation Woo! lover. Yeah. Good, okay. good call. Every woman should experience this. He can teach you about international foods, international love, international romance. He can help you travel. Right. Mm -hmm. Better. And the cool thing is he <laughs> probably fun. doesn't know what city you live in when you're done. So and he can't find you. Right. <laughs> no, you know, that's not true. A lot of friends of mine that have traveled worldwide have met lovers this way and married men. Really? Like really? Spanish. Wow. You know, it, 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 you never know where you're going to find love, and the international man of mystery could definitely, you know, seize your. I don't mean love. to. I don't mean to ruin this one. <laughs> hey, this guy works for me too. One of the things when you're on vacation, it gives women full permission to let out that romantic, passionate side that the Spanish lover brings Very out. Very nice. I'll let you know a quick secret: the international man of mystery's name is Junior. <laughs> The next one is the boy toy. Let's meet him. Oh, the boy toy. Well, guess who our boy toy is? It's Mario. I mean, don't you fantasize about Mario? I'm like, absolutely. Okay. Um, every younger, every every woman yearns to be, you know, going out with a younger man to have that thrill to that that sort of that bad boy thrill of a younger man. It makes you feel sexy when you date a younger man and he's interested in you. And I, I think Mario. I mean, I, where's the fan here? I don't know. Where's the fan? Fantasy boy toy for most women no, in America. What oh, happens with the perfect. fantasy boy toy, though? Don't you only uh, dig uh, the boy toy, not Mario Lopez, because I love right. you with all my heart. Right. But uh, the boy toy thing, don't you just dig the physical part of the relationship and then you dump them? Well, I would say uh, yes in Good. most in most cases. Uh -huh. Yes. See, the uh, rebel's gonna end up with a girl. Okay. <laughs> however, nice. many women in the country are marrying younger men. My sister married a man seven and a half years younger. God bless. Uh, her. You know, and my brother married my brother married a woman. Eight years older than him. Wow. So okay. sometimes the younger boy toy turns into a husband. Yes. Yeah. As much as I love. Uh, now, do I go away? No, yeah, you stay here. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Let's go to uh, uh, frog number eight. This is Mr. Big Stuff. Well, Mr. Big Stuff. Yes, Mr. Big Stuff. Class. And when you walk into a room, he command. He has a commanding presence, like Mr. <laughs> uh, and every woman should experience a man with, with experience. Uh, 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 and he can show you the room. Yeah, you look dazed and confused, man. What is she talking about? <laughs> no, uh, you're the ultimate, you know, handsome older man that all women fantasize older about. Older man? Yes. <laughs> Mario's the younger. And you are the sophisticated, I know, sophisticated, I know. sir. Right. Sophisticated, I, classy, sexy. Now let me ask you this: Wouldn't the, wouldn't the Prince Charming though be the combination of all these kind of guys? Absolutely. Oh, really? Okay. Absolutely. And I think men go through different phases in their life, such as yourself. Right. You're married with children now. I you were a bad boy, and mm -hmm. all better and, now. But I think that you know maybe Dorian represents all. There you the go. Combination. <laughs> Thank you, guys. 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 Thank you
right back after this.